second half of the afternoon session about to get underway. Three of the top 16 seeds have already fallen by the wayside. Brendan Dolan, number eight, is out on his way home. So too the number 12, Terry Jenkins, and so too Justin Pipe after that 6-5 defeat by Steve Beaton, hoping to avoid a similar fate here. The Hurricane Team Hybrex, number seven seed, but fancied strongly to get uh, past a man who squeezed past Magnus Karras in a deciding leg yesterday, Dave Ladley. One of the qualifiers making it through to the second round. Certainly up against it. Hybrex a finalist on the European Tour this year. And like I say, Hybrex will be well aware of what has happened to the likes of Brendan Dolan, Terry Jenkins and Justin Pipe already today. Three seeds on their way home, Rod, already. Hybrex though, you can to see first. off. Lovely Game on. Yeah, I think so. I think uh, Kim is, is too strong for Dave. Dave's on his way back. Um, and if he starts off really well, then he can get really confident. But um, um, Kim is a solid what player now. And he knows how to get on running. And apologies for being a little bit late there. I got caught by the Ninja Turtles. And they've got these huge bits of polystyrene on their backs. Six. I mean, <laughs> talking about go over the line to, to, to dress up, it, they really do look great. So hopefully, Robert, our uh, director, <laughs> will uh, get a shot of those before the end of the game. I'm yeah. sure they will. Your wish is there, Commander Rod. Uh, Hybrex is a European Tour champion as well. He took the title in Holland two years ago. And uh, as I say, he was what close to winning a second it? title in July, only to lose 6-2 to Robert Thornton in the final of the European Open in Dusseldorf. Since then, though, he's failed to get beyond the quarterfinals of the two most recent 85. European Tour events. In Mulheim and in Innsbruck, he made the last eight in Austria, beaten by Chizzy in the quarters. That's bounced out of the treble 20 bed as well. 79. Yes, that could hurt. That could hurt. It could have been in, put him in contention now. Ladley's going to get at least six darts. And I had a little chat with Dave earlier on, and uh, you know, he's very focused. What he's playing man. actually for his father that he lost a little while back, and uh, so that his father was his life, and he wants to do it for his dad. So uh, we understand him. that sort of thing. They go one seventy six. Here we go, 11. Yeah, 11 for the bullseye now. Oh, bullseye the first leg. Dave Lackley. Oh, what a nice finish that was. A 76 check out for a holder throw. And that Ladley is off the mark. As I say, he 59. squeezed past Magnus Karras yesterday, winning the deciding leg. Was leading at 5 2 at one stage, and then he seemed to crumble. And uh, Karras hit back with three legs of his own to force a decider. Squandered one match start, or missed match start, to take out 96 99. for the win. And Ladley clearly enjoying himself on his first European Tour experience of this year. It's his first appearance on the scene in two years, and he's certainly making the most of it here. A 180 against the Hybrex throw. Puts himself in a good position for a break, maybe. Yeah, as I said, when I was talking to you, it was nothing but positives from Dave. He said, I'm going to go out there and play well. I know I am. I'm feeling confident. And certainly the way he started this game, um, he's doing exactly 85. that. 85. Well, he's down to a finish of 1-4-3 on the Hybrex throw. And Hybrex is still not down to a finish. Hey, you're no, well, after the first half final in the treble, he should have been. But just uh, needs to find a treble now, Dave does. And he's done exactly five. that, so he set it up perfectly. Yeah, 16, double 16, maybe next time. And he's going to get two darts at a double. Or eight tops. Options are plenty for him. 100. Hybrex just about yes. hanging in there, but a chance here for Ladley for a 2 0 lead. 16, well, no, eight and tops it is. Game shot and Eaton tops is what he takes out. Very nicely done. Very no, effective on the first. double so far. Two from two. Game on. Well, the thing about the, the game now, we're in a situation where Davis walked up there very confident. Sometimes you do that and it just doesn't work in the first couple of legs and puts you on the back foot a little bit. But he's done the opposite of that. He's absolutely 100. thrown out of the gates. And now being 2 0 up, he's going to be even more confident. So he isn't going to worry about what, Dave, uh, what Kim is going to hit. 
So Hybrex now has got to start. One treble is not going to be enough here. He's got to start hitting double trebles on every visit. Unless he waits and hopefully Dave goes off the top Four of his form. Mm. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. Two from two on the doubles, an average of 103, a 180 to boot as well. Dave Laddie's uh, stats are certainly stacking up at the moment. Palin Huey throws a five. 30. Hybrex won't be panicking just yet though. He too is a, a very resilient player. And that's twice that's happened now. 120. He's got the throw though. He's got three darts to lead. And it is on the Ladley throw. One hundred. Well, Ladley. Just about hanging in there, but Hybrex needs to take advantage here. Forty three. And he hasn't. Sloppy dart. I mean, I, I thought he should have gone for the 19s with the second dart, because it was a bit of a blocker, but uh, missing that, I mean, Dave puts in another treble here. 100! Well, he still may get a dart at the bullseye the way he's playing, so again, Hybrex is just too far away to... Uh, well, he's got to set it up absolutely perfectly. 138! But he's opened the door for Dave Ladley, 127, and he's two for two. He's already hit the bullseye once, so if this goes in the 57, which mm, it doesn't... Unlucky. 55. Give me a quite 40. Well, I say unlucky. He was some distance away from the treble anyway. Hybrix takes Kim out Hybrex. the double 20. He's off the mark. Fourth leg is Kim to throw, first. throw. Game on. Like I said, he wouldn't be panicking just yet, but he couldn't really afford to go 3-0 down. Certainly not. Ladley coming through qualifying. 96. He had three wins in qualifying. He had a 6-4 win over the former world match play champion Colin Lloyd. And then a couple of 6-1 wins as well against Gary Stone and Jason Marriott. 100! And he's certainly carried on where he left off in qualifying this weekend as well. Hybrex though just about finding his range in his rhythm here with a 140. Might already be thinking about a chance for a break hit. Fifty-nine. Well, if you followed the outsiders today you reaping the dividends so far, just Mervyn King of the seeds to have played so far today to make it through, beating Jeffrey Desvan. 133. Yeah, I had a word with Terry Jenkins as well. He, you know, he, he is annoyed, but he's not despondent. He said, you know, I'm playing well, it's taken great performances to beat me. If you carry on like that, you're going to be more than the no question about it. But, uh, you know, well, fair credit to Lee Evans. I think one of the toughest players in the game. And I'm not going to tip Terry Jenkins Sixth. anymore. <laughs> the last two tournaments, I've told him that. Not tipping him anymore. Yeah, Evans guaranteed £2,000 now for his efforts this weekend. That's uh, taken him a Maybe long time to 72. get here. Anyway, Hybrex on 72. So closing in now. Topsy wants, oh sorry, double 18. He wants for uh, two more score. 142. Oh, he's hit two double, uh, two double threes. That that's unlucky. <coughs> Desperately unlucky. Yeah, I mean they're right on the wire. They, any one of those could have been in the fifty-one. Thirty-eight. Give me a quarter. So Thirty-six. Kid, you know, everyone likes a double eighteen, but if it's split, yeah, well, the you don't want to worry about it. Kim Hybrid. I was going to say we've seen so many times, but eighteen.